Thank you. For first, allow me, allow me, sir, uh, Mr. Al Algeri, uh, the founder and the CEO of your important institute, to thank you very much for the opportunity to come and share some views about the South Africa's issue with the ICJ, as well as I want to thank your audience, the colleagues. Uh, South Africa were relatively, relatively a new country in terms of independence. Yes. We got our independence in 1994. And uh, our founding father, may he so rest in peace, uh, former President Mandela, uh, said to us as South Africans as we are attaining our independence that we will not enjoy our freedom fully until Palestine is free. Mm. And our relations with Palestine predate 1994, where it released, like other countries. And secondly, we as South Africans, when we look at how we attained our independence, we appreciate the various components or formations that contributed to us attaining our independence. We had freedom fighters. We, we had liberation movements. The African National Congress, which is the ruling party today, and the Pan-Africanist Congress. We were banned, we, those freedom, uh, liberation movements were banned by the apartheid government in South Africa in the 1960s. And the members of those organizations and all those uh, who were fighting for our independence were labeled terrorists. Mm. And, and I want to underline the point that we fought for our, our independence. We fought for our independence. And uh, ever since we have uh, attained our, our liberation, our independence, we have been champion the cause of the Palestinians and other countries that are in awkward positions. We say a better South Africa, in a better, in a better Africa, in a better world. Better South Africa, but that's what we're just striving to do. In a better Africa, in a better world. That therefore calls for our engagements. All this can't be better if South Africa is disengaged. Calls for our engagement with the global community. And uh, as I said, there were various strengths that ultimately led to our, our independence. As I mentioned, the liberation struggle that was waged by our own liberation movements, as well the constituencies that were inside the country resisting apartheid, as well as the international community. All this put together contributed to the independence of South Africa. And therefore, the, Liber the African National Congress, which is the governing party in South Africa currently, has been internationalist in approach. That, that's why I said I like objectives of the institution. We are internationalist. We don't see ourselves in isolation of the bigger world. We are part of the global community. And uh, uh, therefore, we are concerned about the issues that affect the global community. In respect of the Palestine, I'm taking it recently now for the purpose of this conversation, uh, from October 7, which we know that the dates, the events of October 7 are not just starting from October 7, is, is an occupation, is a long. And uh, you'll recall that in 1948, when the State of Israel was created, there was a promise that there would be two states created simultaneously uh, in their secure borders. And uh, from our engagement as South African government with both Israel and Palestine, we pursued uh, the, the realization of that UN resolution, which was endorsed by the Arab League, of the two state solutions. Yes, we are not naive to the fact that over the years, Israel has created a situation on the ground that makes it doubtful that the two-state solution is still possible. 
namely given the settlements that have encroached on the small part of, of, of land that was given to the Palestinians. The occupation has, has, has violated any, any sense, a reasonable sense of, of, of two-state solution as it was conceived in 1948. We're, we're aware of that, but we are saying then it is up to the Palestinians themselves to decide on the nature of their state and also on the nature of their government. And on this, on this as South Africa, we, we think, like in our case, when we attained our independence in 1994, from 1992 up to 1993, there were negotiations when in, in, in what in, in the type of South Africa we want. When the international community wanted to come and play a part on that, we requested it to, 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 to give us a space as South Africans to construct a constitution that will speak to our needs on our own uh, without the international community interference, at least on constructing uh, what we want to be South Africa. And we're happy with what we had constructed. And therefore, we want the Palestinians to be given that opportunity. In short, that is what we want to achieve. That's where things are, it's causing. That South Africa fought for its independence. It was not given over the plate, we not negotiated. And when we fought for our independence, the South African apartheid state was renowned to have a strong military on the African continent, similar in the Israel side. And the apartheid state had a nuclear the nuclear power, but that never deterred us to fight it. And it was supported by the West. That's why the label of put on the free on the uh, liberation movements called they were called terrorists. It was it was it was heavily, heavily supported by the West. The majority of people were colonized, mm -hmm. know the indignity of the, of colonization, the humiliation. Therefore, in our case, from day one when we attained our independence, the issue of human rights was in the core of our constitution. Our constitution is, is uh, human rights is in the core of our constitution. I normally say when I market South Africa, if one wants to have a sense of what a democracy in play is, visit South Africa. The freedom we cherish is, is, is real freedom, is real, real freedom, is not a facade. Yes. Therefore, to say many of the countries, both in the West and in the global South, in the world, our, our, our strategic partners, we have got good relations, good relations. And uh, we, we have open channels of, of engaging with them. And, uh, but when we look at what my government has presented as genocidal actions over the Palestine committed by Israel, we couldn't stand by with all these considerations. And, and I, I think uh, we have made a history in international relations for a country from the global south to take the action we have taken. But the point is, was not to make history. The point is to, was to, is to save the lives of the Palestinians. And uh, yes, uh, uh, diplomacy or uh, the, uh, the relations of states uh, have economic interests. But in our view of South Africa, relations of states have varied, varied interests. It's not one interest. And we make sure that there should be no one interest that overrides others. That's what we And we've done, we've done a thorough assessment of, of, of the balance of forces, a thorough assessment of what are the possible reactions. But having done all that, our conscience our conscience as people compelled us to take the, the position we've taken.